Hey guys, this is Meer from Obesium and today I am going to brief you about the full review of Xiaomi Redmi Y2. This phone has been launched in the Indian market and it is priced around 10k. The Redmi Y2 is a feature rich phone and it is already proving to be a tough competitor for the low budget phones existing in the market. To sum up with, I would say that Xiaomi has come up with another strong contender and to witness how good the phone is you can visit any mi store across india and see the way people are queuing up to buy this phone so without wasting any more time let's look at the design of the redmi y2 i was not so familiar with the mi devices but let me tell you the design of this phone is surely going to impress everyone across the globe the phone is considerably slim it has well placed camera and an appealing antenna design is what i personally like on this phone The phone is slightly taller which makes it difficult for me to operate as I am used to the 4 inch screen so I prefer to shrink the screen and use it comfortably The Redmi Y2 has not done much to take care of the bezel size but I think that is okay for a 10k phone The power button and the volume buttons are on the right side of the phone followed by the USB charging port and grills for speaker and mic on the bottom side The front side of the phone looks ordinary but the rear side looks pretty exclusive apart from all this we have a fingerprint scanner on the back which looks neat to me so this was all about the design of the Redmi Y2 now let's look out for the specs and the display of this phone the Redmi Y2 has been released with two variants which can be extended up to 128 GB or 256 GB the first variant has 3 GB of RAM coupled with 32 GB of internal storage priced at 999 and the second variant has 4 GB of RAM with 64 GB of internal storage and it is priced at 1299 the Snapdragon 625 octa core processor powers the Redmi Y2 talking about the display we have 5.99 inches of HD display on this phone as mentioned before and it has aspect ratio of 18 is to 9 such huge and promising display is appropriate for immersive gaming or for watching movies Xiaomi in order to match up with the trend has introduced face unlock on the Redmi Y2 it is not as secure as the one we have on the iPhone X but works decent enough on this phone face lock is surely convenient but you also have fingerprint unlocking mechanism on this phone which is pretty fast now let's look at the software and performance of the Redmi Y2 the Redmi Y2 has MIUI 9.5 which is based on the Android Oreo You can also have a look at the MIUI and EMUI comparison video by clicking on this link. Xiaomi has a set of pre-installed Google apps along with Facebook, Amazon, PhonePay, Netflix and Newspoint. But this sort of bloatware is still a big no for tech geeks like me. Coming to the performance of the Redmi Y2, the Geekbench score is 845 for the single core and 4326 for the multi core. Similarly, the score for Antutu benchmarking app is 71461 to test the new Redmi Y2 I played my favorite game PUBG on this phone initially I witnessed a bit of lag but after 3 to 4 minutes the gameplay was smooth as butter the new Redmi Y2 is priced at 10k and it is completely suitable for the purpose of gaming so this is one of the factor why I would recommend the viewers to buy this phone now let's look at the camera of this phone The Redmi Y2 has 12 megapixels and 5 megapixels dual lens on the rear side and a front camera which is of 16 megapixels. All the cameras are AI powered and they do have some excellent capturing capability. We also have a front flash but low light photography on the Redmi Y2 is a real struggle. The edge detection works perfectly on this phone and this image says it all. The daylight photos look great in this price range. The phone has different modes and my personal favorite is the manual mode. In this mode, users can customize the white balance and ISO settings and bring out the photographer inside them. All in all, the camera seems to be 8 on 10 to me and this again is one more positive aspect about the Redmi Y2. The final concern is the battery backup of this phone. With not big juicy battery like we have on the Moto E5 Plus, Redmi Y2 comes with 3080 mAh battery which survives for a long day work on an average usage. I must say that it has quite good battery backup even if you play intensely heavy games or multitask on this phone. Battery usage completely depends upon 
what work you are doing on the device. With moderate usage of apps like WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, etc., the battery would go a day long, but the resource heavy apps can bog down the device and the battery drain is quite noticeable. From my point of view, if you are a moderate user of the cell phone, or you use your cell phone for listening to songs, surfing videos, either online or offline, or maybe sending emails or sending SMS, this phone is the right choice for you. So without having any second thoughts on your mind, you should go for the Redmi Y2. Apart from that, if you are a gamer, I won't say that this phone would impress you, but I am quite sure that it won't disappoint you. So all in all, this phone is the must buy phone in the price range around 10k. So this was our full review about the Redmi Y2. But I have one question for the viewers. Which phone is better when the Redmi Y2 is compared with the Moto E5 Plus which would cost you same amount of money which you would spend on the Redmi Y2. So if you are curious to know about the answer to this question, please stay tuned because I would be answering this question in my next video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel. Till then, see ya.